Welcome to WRC19, the World Radio Communication Conference being held in Shama Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Maxime Erbo, who is a meteorological scientist. He works for Meteo Swiss, and he's also representing the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, here at WRC. Maxime, welcome to the studio. Thank you for the invitation. Now, I'd like to start off by talking to you a little bit about uh, your work and, and why this conference is, is particularly important to you. So this conference is very important for the World Meteorological Organization to, um, to make sure that all instruments can continue to measure and to make sure that we can, we can continue to have an accurate uh, weather forecast. What does that mean exactly in terms of uh, connectivity? So one of the main instruments for the weather forecast are the weather radars. They measure precipitation worldwide and we have to make sure that all weather forecasts uh, have no interference with uh, for example Wi-Fi airline devices. So at this conference there was one uh, very big discussion, the 116 and JADA item to make sure that we can continue to have weather radars that are not interfered by Wi-Fi. And there's been a, a good resolution to this? So from the WMO perspective and Meteo Suisse, it was very successful because there was no change in this agenda item. So we, are, we can continue to measure and to have accurate forecast for the Swiss population, but also worldwide. Let's talk a little bit about, about weather forecasts. So how, how does it actually work? So nowadays we use mostly numerical weather predictions. So all the measurements we make are used by a very big uh, computer. All the information is enter is the computer and then we have uh, physics to know what will be the weather in the next hours, in the next days. So we have to make sure that there is a uh, no interference that the measurements we are making are perfect to have precise measurements to you know in case of flood hurricanes storms having a few kilometers difference can make a very big difference so we want to be very precise what about the number of satellites that are that are circling the world at the moment does more mean better i'm not a satellite expert i would say yes but we we have to we cannot choose the band where we measure. We are using what the nature makes. So for your airline device, you can choose the frequency for a satellite. Passive satellite, we cannot choose. We have one band and we have to measure in that band. So maybe it would be better if you have more satellites, but if you lose one band, all the satellites would be useless. And what about looking forward? What about the future of weather forecasting? How is this going to change? I think we'll be more and more precise. I think we win one day of precise forecast every 10 years. So we'll need more and more precise measurements and uh, we have to continue the good collaboration with, between WMO and ITU to make sure that we can uh, continue our measurements and continue to save lives. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Maxime. And uh, we wish you a safe, safe journey home and look forward to ca catching up with you again at some stage in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.